do you ascribe to these these bubble fears at all that people are talking about that we're in this massive uh overspending getting ahead of the skis bubble and maybe a company like meta will be okay because you guys do have a core business that makes a lot of money but yeah how do you think about this bubble talk that has been going on for the last few months especially um i mean i i think it's quite possible i mean i think basic if you look at most other major infrastructure buildups in history, you know, whether it's railroads or um, fiber for the internet, you know, in the dot com bubble, um, these things were all chasing something that ended up being fundamentally very valuable. In most cases, it ended up being even more valuable than the people who were kind of pushing the bubble thought it was going to be. Right. But in in each in at least all of these past cases. Um, the infrastructure gets built out, people take on too much debt, and then you hit some blip, whether it's some macroeconomic thing, or maybe you just have like a couple of years where the demand for the product doesn't quite materialize. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of the companies end up going out of business. And then the assets get distressed, and then it's a great opportunity to go buy more. So I think that, that it's not, it's obviously impossible to predict what will happen here. Um, there are compelling arguments for why AI could be an outlier, and and um, and basically just um, you know if the models keep on growing in capability year over year and demand um, keeps growing, then maybe there is no collapse or mm -hmm. some or something. Um, but I do think that there's definitely a possibility, at least empirically, based on past large infrastructure build outs and how they led to bubbles that um that something like that would happen here um from meta's perspective you know i i, I think the strategy is actually pretty simple it's um you know it's uh, at least in terms of building out the infrastructure you know it's no one knows when super intelligence is going to be possible is it going to be three years? Is it going to be five years? Going to be eight years? Whatever. Is it never going to happen? But, but I, I don't think it's never going to happen. I, I, I'm more ambitious I, I, or optimistic. I think it's going to be on the the sooner side. But let's say let's say that you weren't sure if it was going to be three or five years. Like in a conservative business situation, maybe you'd like hedge building out your infrastructure because you're worried that if you build it out, assuming it's going to be three years and it takes five, then you've lost, you know, maybe. A couple hundred billion dollars or something. I mean, my view is that that's a lot of money. Well, <laughs> no. Well, I was going to say, in the grand scheme, it is it is objectively a huge amount of money. Yeah. Right. I mean, didn't you just tell Trump you were going to spend like six hundred billion? I mean, that's, that's I did. Yeah, through twenty twenty eight, which is that's um, a lot of money. It is. And and if and if um and if we end up misspending a couple of hundred billion dollars, I think that that is going to be very unfortunate. Obviously, <laughs> but. What I'd say is I actually think the risk is higher on the other side. Hmm. If you if you um, build too slowly and then super intelligence is possible in three years, but you built it out assuming it would be there in five years, then you're just out of position on what I think is going to be the most important technology that enables the most new products and innovation and value creation in history. Hmm. So, um, so I don't know. I mean, it's um, I don't want to be kind of cavalier about it. I mean, obviously these are very large amounts of money and we're trying to get it right. Mm -hmm. But I think the risk, at least for a company like Meta, is probably in not being aggressive enough rather than being somewhat too aggressive. But but part of that is like, we're not at risk of going out of business or something like that, right? If you're one of these, um, you know, companies that like an open AI or an Anthropic or something like that, where you know they're raising money as as the way that they're funding their build out and right. you know it's, there's there's obviously this open question of to what extent are they going to be able to keep on raising money and that's dependent both to some degree on their performance and how ai does but also all these macroeconomic factors that are out of their control i mean mm -hmm. the the market could get bearish for reasons that have nothing to do with ai maybe you know something bad happens internationally and um and then it could just be impossible to fulfill the kind of the the compute funding or like the compute obligations mm. so i think that that's that's it, it might be a different situation if you're in one of their shoes but um but i think for us you you um you know, i think the clear strategy is it's it's just you know, i think it's 
creates more value for the world. Um, if we kind of assume pretty aggressive assumptions about when this is going to be possible. 